Imagine a world where machines handle your mundane tasks. Fixing SEO, editing documents, replying to reviews, all from one place. A system that frees you from your time to take on more clients, grow faster, and scale profitably. Now imagine a world where one operator managing multiple computers at once. <sighs> Look guys, I've been spending the whole day on a Sunday morning going through Atlas, and I gotta tell you, there's some massive opportunities here if you know how to use it correctly. So I figured I'd make a video on the best examples that I could find of me using Atlas. This gives you some inspiration on how to use it for better automation. Let's start with some of the basics like optimizing text while you're in the browser. If you're like me, you probably have ChatGPT open every single moment with private chat and you're taking text and then pasting it somewhere else. So here's how I use this to actually just do it directly in the browser. When working directly inside of Atlas, you can highlight text and change it directly with ChatGPT integrated. This allows you to avoid clicking through on other pages, which I often find myself doing in Chrome and allows ChatGPT to start rewriting things directly inside of the browser. Super useful for marketing. This feature can work basically anywhere you have text. So for us, it's very helpful when we're making websites, writing emails, writing documents, writing video scripts, anything along those lines. We can get some instant adjustments directly on the landing page, and we can make those updates really quickly. Something that takes a lot of my time is pasting text into these different citations and Google business profiles and things like that online. So here's a good example of Atlas looking at my page and then adding content into the fields that I need it to do. I started by putting in a clear prompt of exactly what I wanted Atlas to do. I found that the more clear I can get for repetitive tasks, the better it's gonna perform. It went through all of the images, added descriptions, added details, added alternate text, and added the click-through URLs, perfect for SEO optimization at scale. The irony of this is, is it works really well in Google Docs and Google Sheets too. So I'm getting prepared for a consulting meeting. So here's exactly how Atlas accessed a Google Doc and helped me fill in the information that I needed it to. When working with a consulting client, I really wanted to go ahead and review the document and ask as many possible questions for a video interview. Atlas went into the doc, pasted all the interview questions with precision. Now I spent a ton of time on YouTube and one of the things I love doing is watching long form videos. Atlas can access any YouTube video, read its transcript and transcribe that information. So Dan Hauser, the one of the founders of the Grand Theft Auto series just did a podcast interview on Lex Friedman. So I was able to take that interview and turn it into a quick summary. Virtually inside of any video, you can prompt Atlas to review the transcripts and give you any information that you want from that video. For this example, I used a two hour video to show you its capabilities. Now, because I basically live in my email box, Atlas can go into your email, click through a bunch of things and summarize things for you. For me, this is immediately useful because I love looking at clients leads that they get from the marketing that we do. So here's an example of me going in and summarizing a ton of emails. Inside of an email account, I'm gonna have Atlas look at 20 different emails, review its contents, and then tell me a summary of what it found. You can see that Atlas is going through my email inbox. It worked for eight minutes, and then it found all of these different patterns and trends that I can use to communicate with my client. Now, I just know the SEOs are gonna love this one. This one, I actually took a client's brand new Google business profile. I had Atlas go through all of the different optimization settings that it could. I had it type in unique information and completely optimize a Google business profile. I didn't let it do the sensitive things like the phone number, the website, and the address. Instead, I had it optimize its service areas and its descriptions. In digital marketing, we're often optimizing different profiles, including Google Business. I had Atlas go ahead and optimize a Google Business profile for a new client that we had, and you could see how it started to optimize its approach, figuring out information about the brand, as I wanted clarity here, as I didn't want it to make many mistakes. Then it started going through all of the different fields that I needed to in order to get it to optimize all of this. This includes the description, this includes the categories, this includes putting in the opening date, this includes adding different services, and you can take this well beyond into different categories as well by just telling Atlas exactly what you want it to do. Towards the end, it gave me a clear summary of what it worked on. Perfect for me communicating this directly to the client or to the internal team I'm working with. This also works with responding to the client's reviews on any of their platforms. To show you an example, I'm gonna show you Google Business Profile to start. So I started prompting by clearly telling Atlas to respond to five-star reviews and not to respond to one-star reviews. Once I clicked that, it went through all of the reviews that were designated and it responded to all of them. Towards the end, you can see it worked for three minutes, which really isn't that long. So if you have a lot of reviews to respond to, this might not be the best approach. 
Now I'm finding that this works for super mundane things too. Like one of my biggest pet peeves is when I get photos and they're not titled. I had Atlas log into Basecamp, our project management software, and start to retitle a lot of the files that were uploaded there. I started in a clearly designated folder and gave it a really good prompt. As you can see, it went through that folder, clicked on the images, looked at the image, and then provided an SEO friendly description for each of them. When it was completed, you can see that it worked for nine minutes and accomplished all of that. I noticed, however, it didn't go through all the images. So so I simply just prompted again and I said continue with the next images. It was very quick to learn what it had already done, so it went through those images relatively quickly and worked for an additional two minutes. Staying on the topic of mundane tasks, I had Atlas log into Canva and make edits to logos to various different graphics that we were creating. So I put in a prompt to change all of the logos on the different images directly inside of the Canva doc. ChatGPT Atlas went through each of the pictures, replaced the logo files with the new logo file that I wanted, with precision. Of course, I'm gonna check this once it's done, but it can show you how multimodal it is. Because Atlas can access any web page and summarize it, I'm having it summarize designs that my team is providing to me and allowing me to save time on unnecessary feedback for small things. I started by prompting on the web page that I wanted the feedback on. Atlas analyzed the page, and then I took that information and left comments directly on the web page for the designer, saving me a ton of time. Now, a huge part of my job is actually running reports. So I had it go into our tool Splashdash and automatically start running reports. So here's an example of it actually in a platform running reports on my behalf. I had Atlas go ahead and run a report directly inside of our tool Splashdash to showcase and pull that report directly for me. And last but not least, I had to do a difficult task. Now, it did not do this task well at all, so I tried to have it automate a blog post directly on one of our clients' websites, and the results were underwhelming. It couldn't follow the direction because it just didn't intuitively know the strategy of a human being. This task, I gave it a really healthy prompt, and while the task was significantly complex, it failed to do some of the basic instinct that a normal human being would do. So once it was done working, it had worked for 21 minutes, but still did not accomplish what we were looking for. Now, one of my key focuses this year is going to actually be figuring out how I can use Atlas on multiple computers. I tried this today when I used it on two devices and it worked pretty flawlessly. There's still a lot of areas of opportunity and I hope that OpenAI continues to improve this product because I think it could be revolutionary for your business. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'd love to hear how you guys plan on using it and I'll see you in the next one.